Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, we'll look at a one-of-a-kind speakers agency and the journey that it took to get here. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, as many of you know, I used to do a lot of public speaking. At one point, I was giving 300 speeches a year in addition to my TV job. So I know a little bit about the speaking arena, but certainly not as much as my next guest, Dr. Luana Gladney with 24 Carat Speakers. Yes. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, thanks for having me, Jeff. I love it. <laughs> well, I, I love the way you have separated yourself out. Tell us about 24 Carat Speakers. Yes, yeah, so 24 Carat Speakers is a speakers agency. It's a boutique speakers agency that is for women of color. What that means is that all of the speakers on our roster are women of color. They are premium speakers, they're premium level speakers. So I always tell everyone we are the Nordstrom's of speakers agency. Yeah, and I'm looking at, uh, at some of your, your fees. I mean, these are really top flight speakers. Absolutely, absolutely. And I felt like this was necessary because like you, uh, Jeff, I have been speaking for over 30 years. Yes. And I felt like getting the representation to sell me who I was, the non-celebrity, but the thought leader, the credible person, and really not being pushed out there yes. like I needed to be. And, and you understand that journey. Absolutely, and I think you are so relatable to the speakers that you work with because you've walked more than a mile in their stilettos. Oh, so, <laughs> so, love it, so, love so, it, absolutely. <laughs> let's show a little video of you speaking. Uh, if you had to guess, how many how many speeches have you given in your life? Oh, you know what? I, if I were to guess, I know it's hundreds, several hundreds, close to a thousand. I have worked. 30 years, 30 years wow. worth. And people will say something about me speaking and I'm like, I don't remember, where did I meet you? I'm like, it was 15 years ago, yes. it was 10 years ago. So I've been a lot of different places. And I think many speakers agencies uh, at least are staffed by people who have never given a keynote before. Right. And it's, right. it's nice to be able to relate to your, your client, the speaker, by saying, look, I get it. I'm on, absolutely. And what I did in building the agency is I took the best of what's out there and then the missing pieces yes. of what is not there and put it all into 24 carriage speakers yes. to say, hey, you know what? We're going to focus individualized. We're not going to have a thousand people on the website that you have to, it's going to take you three hours to look for right. a speaker that you are maybe wanting for your event. And so been able to keep it in a boutique space. Not that we're not going to be able to scale and grow yes. because it's women of color and that's internationally. So just the representation that needs to be there. So all of these credible, very smart, intelligent, colorful women yes. have somebody out there advocating on their behalf. I think, I think you're a genius and your timing is perfect because I know there's a great need right now for diversity on the stage. It is. Diversity and inclusion. And now because of what we've been through over the past couple of years, it has allowed the entry point that people don't aren't afraid of diversity and that they say, yes, you know what, we're all better if we are diverse and we are inclusive of everyone. So our speakers talk on a range of every subject that's out there from leadership to management to branding to self-care. They just, you come and you don't have to look through yes. tons and tons of speakers to find that quality I emphasize and stress premium. Yes. So comes premium. So we're not, oh, it's $2,000. You know, it's the premium level speaker. Yeah. How do you find your speakers? Well, you know, our speakers have to qualify. They have to be eligible. So we have a list of eligibility requirements. And so a lot of the speakers from speaking throughout the years, I was connected 
and I could reach back and say, hey, what's going on? How are you doing? I followed you over the years. Most of our speakers have been speaking for 15 years plus. Yes. And so they're really grounded and creditable into what they do. And, so, and, yeah. and professional. Absolutely. I, I know, uh, a little of your world, uh, because I did so many speeches, you know, the speaker has to be reliable. They've got to be on time. They've got to know their audience. I mean, there's a lot of things that go they in. They have to be professional, because a lot of times what happens is when planners and people are scheduling and having meetings and conferences, they will go and they'll get a celebrity. And there's nothing wrong with that. I understand. They need to fill seats. Yeah. But they're not a professional speaker. Correct. They act for a living, they sing for a living, they do something else. These women are professionals, and this is what they do with their lives full time, and they're dependent on, so they they always honing their craft. Yes. And so we also have built into the agency training so that we continue to offer training so that you can continue to grow and increase in your knowledge right. and in your profession. So it's really a professional type. So um, it's not for beginning speakers. It's not for people yeah. who are wanting to speak right. <laughs> and are trying to get out there. They already have a plethora of clientele and they are they're celebrities in their own right. I agree. And some of these celebrity speakers that I see, they don't bother to do the little homework that's necessary to not offend the room. So like some people yes. call themselves members and other people call themselves associates and you have to kind of learn the vernacular, a don't absolutely. you? Absolutely. Well, you know, a celebrity speaker, they don't have to because they're not hired for that. They're hired simply to get people to come to your event yes. because you know associate so it's a difference and I tell people all the time where well, you can get uh, people that speak on you can get subject matter experts that speak in corp their uh, they have jobs in corporations but they speak on the side they're just a subject matter expert all of our women or colorful women that bring powerful messages that change the world. And this is what they do. And they live and breathe it. And you see it by the level of professionalism that we display everywhere. What are some topics right now that people are asking for? Well, the trending topics obviously are how do you readjust? We don't even want to use the word pivot anymore. It's kind of like done. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, pivot. Yeah, yeah. pivot um, but readjusting back into making this life normal. What does that look like to reimagine your company, your corporation, your employees? What all of that, how does that uh, Mesh back together. And then, of course, the diversity and inclusion is a really big piece because a lot of people are focused on that as well. And the leadership. How do you lead your employees when times can be tumultuous and we don't even know what's coming next? Yes. So a lot of those topics are really trending at this present time and companies are like, okay, we need to get back and we just keep yeah. our people at home. You know, how do we service? How do we service? Let's talk about how the industry is rebounding from COVID, because I know there was a lot of speakers that you know were suddenly confined to Zoom. Yes. They're booking speakers again, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. Well, you know what? And even me as a speaker, I got a lot of a lot of virtual, yeah. you know, when it came up because what people realized that they still needed somebody to talk to them. Right. What we realized is that we can use technology in a different way and we can still yeah. interact and yes. we can still hear something just like watching people on TV. We're on Zoom now, you know. Yeah. And so that was good, but now we have Zoom fatigue and all of that. So we're so glad that the industry is opening back up yes. and is saying we want the in person. For speakers it's really important because the energy, you know, yeah. the audience is who gives you energy. Yes. And it was really hard to get energy over Zoom. It I'm was. telling you, you know, half the people's cameras would be off <laughs> and you would see a number come up. I don't even know who you are. I can't even say your name and hello, welcome to the yeah. meeting. Some of the people are day drinking and they, you know it. Absolutely. <laughs> They're not even listening. They ha they don't have their mute button on so you hear their dogs and their kids. It was a lot. Yeah. And as a speaker, you know, it could take you off your game. I've yes. had a lot of stories <laughs> I can share about that. So we are so glad that the industry is rebounding. Yes. And I keep saying, and I'm going this uh, later in, in April to speak in California to say, hey, you know what? Let's learn how to prepare for whatever happens. Yes. Because we still don't know. It could be another variant that comes along. But what are we going to do? How are we going to continue to move forward and be emotionally healthy yes. and well in the process? Well, I can see why you're so successful. Final thoughts. What would you like to leave the audience with? Oh, you know what? I'm telling you, when it's important, when you do hire a speaker, that that speaker's mission is to leave your audience different 
than when they came. And the impact that they make this lasting, that they give you strategies, action plans, all of the above. And that's what we do here at 24 Carriage Speakers with all of this lineup of incredible premium speakers. Our mission is colorful women bringing powerful messages that change the world. I love it. That's a great way to end the segment. We're going to uh, leave you with the website, which is 24caratspeakers.com. Dr. Luana Gladney, thanks for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, <laughs> You Jeff. bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.